everyone, Adrian D'Alessio here, back with another Teaching Tuesday, and we are on the golf course for this session. We are on hole number 12. The and I kind of just wanted to talk about some course management uh, fundamentals and little tips and tricks that you can use when you're out here. I know it can be super intimidating with the water and the length of the hole, but the good news is that this is a par five, so you do have that extra shot in the bag. And something that I like to do is actually use the yardage book itself to really hone in on you know, the best possible outcomes that I can have. So the main thing, like I said, is the water. That's the intimidating factor. So the water is right here, okay? Just in that spot there. There's other things around like that bunker. What I like to do is just scratch it out. We're gonna pretend that's not there. I know easier said than done, okay? But let's just forget that it's there, okay? So we've got our shot here. Great, we're in the fairway. We've done our job to get up here. These little X's here. Here is where things start to get a little bit tricky. Now it's that yardage where we panic and there's the water to get over. My recommendation is to always use a club more. You wanna club up to make sure you clear the water even if you do happen to go over into the rough or into the bunker. It's a lot easier to hit a shot coming back than it is to hit another shot yet again over the water this time. Okay, so always use clubs, especially from this shot here. Always use a club that you're most confident with, whether it be a seven iron, a six iron, fairway wood, hybrid, whatever it is that you're most confident with. One other suggestion that I'll say is try from here, this shot here, to favor this side over here, especially if the pin is in the right hand side. Today, I'm sure you can see it's in the middle, so you do have a fair bit of green to work with, but always try to favor that left-hand side. It does tend to get a bit shorter on the right-hand side, down at the bottom over here, and in the back over here. Lots more green to work with on this left-hand side here. So again, always use a club that you're most confident with, that you can stand over and you're like, okay, I know it's gonna go a little bit further, but I have so much confidence, I could just take a swing back and through and really get onto the green. So hopefully, whether it's using this or the GPS system that's in the cart, that's good because then you can start to pinpoint where each shot's gonna go and how far it is from where you are. Okay, so hopefully both of those can be used to your advantage and get those scores nice and low.